Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Global Ambassador Joe Garcia calling from my home outside of Toronto, Canada and the Beverly Hills of Canada, Oakville, Ontario. Uh, it's my pleasure and an honor to spend some time here with you, here with this important, epic, life-changing webinar in how to sponsor 50 plus people in your NHG Global Business. I know we've got a lot of people that are uh, tuning in from other network marketing companies and your network marketing company. I'm going to show you how I've been, been able to enroll hundreds and hundreds of people here with NHG Global and, uh, and thousands now in my 23-year career in network marketing. I started the industry back in June 23rd, 1993. I can I can just visualize, I can taste it when I got started and how I got started. And I'll go into that story a little later. But the very first thing that I understood as a leader or a potential leader in this industry, if I wanted to reach my goals and my dreams here within this industry, I asked myself one question. What is the one skill set, Joe, that you need to develop? You need to become a part of you you need to consistently work at that will ensure your success in your business and i thought about it for a few days and i really recognized it was all about prospecting and recruiting if i can get really good at prospecting and recruiting and bringing people new people into the business and work the numbers i will fail my way to the top because i recognize that i could eventually get quality people into the business that would already have the skill sets and the development and uh, you know were better than I was just by working the numbers. So I went ahead and started from June 23rd, 1993, from day one, started my path on how to, to develop my skill sets, develop my philosophy, to develop my mindset in order for me to be a champion chip recruiter, a champion recruiter and prospector. And here's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll welcome you to reality. 23 years there, I'm actually coming up to 24 years. I put those skill sets in play. I started developing myself. I still started growing myself to the point where today I have prospects calling me to join me. And my goal here today is to help all of you, to teach you the truth and help all of you get to the point where I was, where I could recruit and prospect and demand, where I could fill my pipeline and not worry about someone telling me no right now, to, to develop the patience, to understanding that your results will come if you do what I share with you here today. But here's the reality of what's going on here in today's world. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you a video just so you guys can help understand no matter where you are in Australia, Hong Kong, uh, if you're in, in Malaysia, you're throughout Europe, in countries like Sweden and Finland or the United States and Canada. We are now in a very special time in our life. Network marketing is becoming self evident. You know, the lifestyles of someone like myself and Dan traveling the world and our global ambassadors, even our platinum ranked ambassadors or eighth rank ambassadors uh, are building and, and growing and developing and they built an incredible lifestyle. This is what we're talking about here today. And what we sell, and I want you to write this down, what we sell is freedom. No matter where I go in the world, no matter where I go in the world, people want one thing. No matter if it's in Africa, if it's in Russia, if it's in China, people want one thing. They want enough money where they don't have to think about or worry about money. That's what freedom is to them. That is what freedom is to them. So let me just share with you a great video by Robert Kiyosaki um, here's some of his predictions. You know, I'm not, I, I never pay attention to the naysayers out there uh, to, 
you know, all the negatives that are going on. But this is actually a video just to help people understand what is happening globally in the West, in the East, and where we're in the times that we're on right now, and why network marketing is consistently growing every year and developing and growing. So this is a three three minute video. Let me just share it with you for a second. It was Robert Kiyosaki, uh, probably best known for the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And one of the reasons I wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad 20 years ago, 1997, was I could see this economic crisis coming. If you're old enough to remember, 1997, the economy was booming. And then what happened in the year 2000, it turned. So we had a crash in 2000, it was a dot-com crash. The second was a real estate crash, and the third was the banking crash. So within the first 10 years of this century, we've had three major crashes, much bigger than the stock market crash of 1929. If you look at these charts here, you can see 2000, you can see the real estate crash, and you see the banking crash, and down there you can see the uh, 1929 crash. The next crash coming, and it's coming very soon, is going to be bigger than all of the crashes the world has ever seen. So... When I say to people, you may as well be an entrepreneur, because if you're an entrepreneur and you're actually sincerely working to gain the skills of an entrepreneur, the real life business skills of an entrepreneur, you and your family have a better chance of surviving this coming disaster. And it is coming. So why sit around and hope for job security when the idea of job security is really an obsolete idea? Why save money when governments have a tendency to print money to save the economy? And why do what the poor and middle class are doing when the rich are getting richer? So ladies and gentlemen, there's a giant crash coming. They call it a T-junction. You know, it's when the economy hits the end of the road. And we're within two or three years of it right now. You can see it happening as we speak. So you have interest rates at low, savers are losing money. What you see is oil prices dropping, which causes chaos in oil producing countries like Russia and all this. And you see the rise of terrorism. So ladies and gentlemen, these are not ordinary times. The industrial age is over, we're in the information age. And right now it's important that you get more, more information, more education and more skills. Most importantly, learn to be an entrepreneur so that you can survive no matter what happens. Thank you. Thanks, Delabor, for letting me know that the uh, video wasn't playing. So I uh, hope you got to a little sense, a little sense of what I've seen over the last 17 years here with NH2 Global. When I got started in 2001 and traveling all over the world, sharing the NH2 Global dream. And Robert, you know, these conspiracy theories about the economy crashing, everything else. But this is something I've seen for years where the East is cashing up to the West. We're now in this information age, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I was at a, at a seminar several years ago in Germany where the professor stood up and he, he talked about, where, and I, I shared this in a previous blog, where in the next 20 years, 90% of the jobs that we know today will disappear because of technology. He also went on to say that, yes, technology is going to replace jobs and produce new jobs, but we don't know if it's going to be catching up to the jobs that are lost. So just think about what's going on, what Robert talks about, where globally we're in a very special time now. We're in that entrepreneurial age. This is why network marketing is exploding globally. This is why we now on the internet, just think about what we can do. When I got started in 2001, I had to carry this massive laptop around the globe. Uh, when I went into these countries, uh, you know, it was very difficult. We had this poor cell phone, cell phones. We couldn't get connection in half the countries, et cetera, et cetera. Fast forward five, six, or seven years later, I'm using a stop uh, um, smartphone where I'm able to communicate with people all over the world. You know, I basically do my business with my iPhone now. It's it's incredible how technology has changed things. You know, a few years ago, I was in uh, Africa, and I was in Egypt, just around here. 
and uh, in a place called El Sharm el beautiful island off the coast of Egypt. And uh, we went in, it was a uh, NHG Global Incentive trip. I was with uh, Russian uh, distributors. And I went in, uh, we, in the morning, we did uh, ATV through the um, uh, Sahara Desert. And it was about seven o'clock in the morning. And after driving for about an hour, we met a family of nomads in the middle of the desert, massive tent invited us for a drink you know and i got off my atv the others followed me as i was walking in the back of the tent there was a teenager on facetime <laughs> with an iphone on facetime communicating with someone on the other end i thought wow we're in the sahara desert in the middle of nowhere this guy has a phone that costs more than what their parents had or their home you know, it was just unbelievable. So keeping that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand today where we're at, where the, uh, where the trends are going. And if you're working NHT part-time right now, you need to understand that you may not be in a job five years from now. You may not be able to depend on a job 10 years from now. This is the time where you need to put the pedal to the metal Start to learn the skill sets and, and the mindset and the philosophy I'm going to share with you today in prospecting and recruiting, where you will be able to take care of your family the next 20, 30, 40 years. Will you never be able to have freedom and travel the globe, you know, and, and just have fun? And, and you can do the business anywhere you go. For example, in a few weeks from now, you know, I just came back from Jamaica and a few weeks from now, I'm going over to Paris. I rented an apartment there. I'm taking my family there. I'm going to be there, you know, because um, I have a sister who lives in Paris and we're going to spend some time there. And I'm going to meet with people there. I'm do developing the business out of France. I'm already making my connections. It's amazing. And get this, this trip will be 100% a write-off. So where can you find a business where you can do that and have fun and have a lifestyle. And I promise you today, if you learn the techniques that I'm gonna share with you in this webinar, you can be and enroll 50 people, 100 people, 150 people in this business. And just think about it. In the next two years, next year, if you really uh, take advantage of what I'm sharing with you here today, how would another 30 personally enrolled people in your business, 50, 60, 70, what would that look like in your business a couple of years from now? Just think about it. What if you got really good and enrolled a couple hundred people in the next couple of years? What would your business look like? You could be moving up the ranks very quickly here with NH2 Global. And that was the question that I asked myself in June 23rd, 1993. I became a professional prospector by just doing the numbers. And the things that I'm gonna share with you are the things that I've learned and the techniques I've learned, not from writing, reading a book, not from learning from other network marketers, from my experiences in how to get to people's hearts and how to get move them to the next phase. So I learned many years ago that the quality of our life is the quality of our communication. So if I were to go up today, no matter where I am in the world, and go and do a survey on the corner of a busy street and ask people, if I can show you a way in the next two years to double and triple your income, would you be interested? Or would you like to double and triple your income in the next two to three years? How many people would say no? Probably nobody. If I could, uh, second question, if I can, if you, if, can you, would you like to live longer and healthier than your parents did with a better lifestyle and better health? How many people would say no? Just so. So we have billions of prospects around the world, billions of prospects around the world. And the reason why people say no is how we approach them. And I recognize after, you know, my first year in NHT, so 
You can imagine I was eight years in the industry. My first year in NHT, I had spoken to 900 people, 900 people out of those 900 people. So as, as I was getting to 200 and 300, 400, I started to realize my approach. Was, uh, the reason why people were saying no was because of, of my approach. I was not connecting to their value system. And I started changing things. I started understanding if I approached them this way, they could never tell me no. You know, my goal, our goal is to show people the tools for them to learn about the business. That's our goal. So we have three goals when we have a prospect. We either introduce them and get them on the product. We int introduce them and get them on the business, get them en enrolled in the business, or we get a referral. And if you do what I'm sharing, if you start to understand what I'm sharing here by learning the right communication methods and bypassing what I call the sales filter. So I'm going to share with you a little video and what happens uh, to that sales filter when you approach someone incorrectly. So this video is about uh, three minutes long also. And <clears throat> As you were, Lieutenant, don't let anything pass through to Central Command that does not match pre programming. Checking all data against self image blueprint manifestos for lifestyle. Money and finances, business success, health and fitness, food. Restrict all non compliant input from Dave's awareness. These holes do not match with self image blueprints, therefore, do not proceed with normal behavior and thought patterns. Any word from General Amicola today? General Amicola is on alert, but there is no present danger. All is well. And I assume we're on a city course. The psycho-cybernetic mechanism is resting comfortably. We are within normal self-image limits. Very good, Lieutenant. Carry on. Hello? So, Dave, come on, tell me, have you decided to join us yet? We can show you how to become a millionaire or even a multi-millionaire, and we'll show you how to do it just one step at a time. Only smoke, General Amigdala is freaking out. What is Amigdala reacting to? change my life and definitely turn it around all right let's do it I'm sorry Dave I cannot allow you to do that it is not consistent with your programming and self-image I will now engage automatic override for course correction whoa, 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 wait wait wait, 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 wait. Just, you know what on second thought you know I need some time to think about this this it just really isn't the right time let Let's talk next month, all right, man? Thanks. Bye. Do I really want to make more money and pay more taxes and have more employees and eat at fancy restaurants? And who cares about being in shape? I'm just not ready. I need a snack. Good work, everyone. We stay the same.
So as you can see by the video, I'm just going to go through it just quickly with you. On the back of our brain, it's we have a part of our brain called the RAS system. And this part of the brain stores all the memories, all the beliefs that have been programmed into your, that part of the brain. It never forgets anything. And, and there's research being done already here in the last five years that we actually, through the DNA, it have that part of our parents' fears and worries, et cetera, et cetera, built into our DNA also. So all these memories and beliefs and it's programming you since you were in your mother's womb. And what ends up happening by the time you're seven or eight years old, that part of the brain closes. So all this is, it's, it's kind of like that computer that's been downloaded, all this information. And what happens is now you're, you're the rest of your life, unless you're aware of it, these beliefs have been impounded into you over and over and over again. And a lot of those beliefs, and I'm gonna go into a little later, do not serve you today. So for example, just think about sales. We have incredible amount of beliefs regarding sales. Salespeople are bad. <laughs> you know, everyone has, every family has some kind of, of um, a sale, bad sales story where their dad went and got ripped off by a car salesman or, uh, or that kind of thing. So keep that in mind when you're talking to prospects. So I've done a webinar on contact and inviting that you can go to uh, stinkteam.ca under first 90 days. And I go into a little bit more detail. For the sake of this webinar and time, I wanted to just plant the seed for, to help you understand, as you saw with that video with Dave, as soon as Dave was approached through what I call the direct approach, that part of the brain kicked in. That general amygdala which is in the RAS system that has these tools that will prevent you from doing the things that are against your programming. So when it comes to religion, when it comes to money, when it comes to sales, that this is why when, when things feel uncomfortable for you, it's because of that part of the brain is raising your cortisol levels, is raising your epidephrine levels to prevent you from getting outside that comfort zone that comfort zone, uh, and these tools are very effective. So when you're speaking to distributors uh, and prospects and you're wanting them to get to that next step, you have to understand that sales filter is always there, and you can never win against that sales filter. You can never win. So, I, for example, I'll give you an example of that RAA system today. So many of you are going to watch this webinar. You're going to go back. And, and watch it over and over and over again. And there's a part of your brain now, depending on how you were programmed, that will say to yourself, I can't do what Joe, Joe is sharing. I can't do what Joe is sharing. I can't see myself as sponsoring 100, 200 people. You immediately will cancel out anything that I'm going to share with you on this webinar. So, when it comes to understanding and awareness, this is what my job here is, here is today, my goal, is help you become aware. If you want to grow, you have to understand that these programs are not serving you any longer, especially when it comes to sales. So what I did is I started talking to people and I was using the direct approach and I was going over and over again and I knew people needed more money. I knew the business was perfect for them that they kept on telling me no. And I realized this sales filter. I realized they couldn't help but say no because even though they needed more money, they were broke and they were, you know, had a couple months left of, of, of money in the bank just to pay for their, their mortgage, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever they were going through is because of this sales filter. It's amazing when you start to learn how to bypass that sales filter. Now you're going to get results. So I'm not, I've put together a bunch of benefit statements which bypasses that sales filter that allows you to get to the heart of people and get them to look at our business. And they're going to be up on Steam Team, and I'll send it out to everybody on, on our Facebook NH2 Global Community page. If you're not part of that page, you know, uh, search for it on Facebook, NH2 Global Community, and, and I'll add you. And uh, I'll get that out on email also. So, for example, in this benefit statement, I'll, 
and I've shared this story a few times. A few months ago, I was in a coffee shop and I was sitting down and a young mother came in with three kids under the age of five. And I asked her what she did for a living and she went on and on and on and on and on. And then eventually she asked me what I did for a living. And, you know, and this is where your 30 seconds can impact people all the time. If you say, well, I'm an NH2 global distributor, you know, and I sell this product, sell that product, I do it part time, blah, blah, blah. Again, that sales filter will kick in. That sales filter will kick in and they'll just move on to the next subject, right? And what I shared with her, because during her conversation, I asked her if she would like to, uh, you know, uh, uh, stay at home with her kids, you know, and she said, yes, babysitting is getting expensive. You know, my husband and I have been talking about it, how we can do it and everything else. And so when we eventually got to what I did, and I told her, I've seen many women, many moms just like you, make more money working part-time from our, my global e-commerce business than their husbands are doing working full-time. And if you're interested, feel free to ask me for more information. So I bypassed her sales filter and I got to her benefit, her value, what she wants. You know, if she, he, she was a businesswoman, I've seen many business people just like you double and sometimes triple their income in this global e-commerce business without changing their lifestyle. Feel free to ask me for more information. So these benefit statements, and I'm gonna have a whole bunch of them that I'm gonna put on there, will work 80 to 90% of the time because you're tapping into people's values. It goes back to the old saying, people don't care how much you know, it's, they care if you care. So you need to understand, you need to understand this sales filter is always there. So there's really three types of approaches that we have in the business, okay? So the first approach, I go over this in the contact inviting, is a direct sale, direct approach. Okay, I would only recommend if you use a direct approach like that person was doing with Dave on the video if you have a lot of credibility. If you're a 9 and 10, you've been successful in business, people will listen to you. It's not duplicatable, but you can pick up the phone and say, hey, Matt, this is Joe. Do you have a minute? You know, Matt, I just got a, real excited about an e-commerce opportunity that's on the NASDAQ. They've had 18 uh, consecutive months of double-digit growth. And I, I wanted to show the business to you because I'm looking at building a business here with, any, with this company. Are you open to taking a look at some more, more information? So if I, that's a direct approach. And if I have the credibility with Matt, he's nine times out of 10 said, yes, if you're in it, Joe, I got to take a look at it, right? Then there's the side door approach. And what I'm using here with the benefit statements is a side door approach. It bypasses that sales filter and it gets people to say, yes, I want to take a look at the information because you're tapping into their value systems. And then you have the back end approach. And basically the back end approach is, I've used this a lot with nines and tens. Hey, 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 Dalibor, this is Joe. Do you have a minute? You know, Dalibor, I really respect you. You've been very successful in your business. You know, and I really respect that. Uh, you know, you're actually one of the people that I look to uh, as motivation. So praise will always get you everywhere. Praise will open up the mind like a parachute. And the reason why I'm calling Dalibor is I just got started in an incredible global e-commerce business. They're on the NASDAQ. You know, uh, they started at a penny stock. Now they're trading around $29. They're all over the globe. And look real excited about this. Because you're really successful, you must know a lot of successful people. Can you help me? So what the back end approach does is it allows you, you praise them, you open their minds, they're willing to help you. Again, people are always willing to help. That's a benefit statement. So these kind of approaches I'm going to put up, a, again, I'm going to fix them up, put them back up on Steam Team here so all of you can understand. But the point of this webinar is not really get into the contact and inviting aspect of it. It's just helping you become aware. You can go to that contact inviting training that I did on your first 90 days on Steam Team, but become aware of 
communication. And when you use the right of communication, the business becomes easy. You're not, pre you're not praying for people to join your business. You tap it into their hearts. You're communicating. As I've said before, if you go to anybody around the world and you ask them, would you like to double and triple your income in the next year? You know, everybody would say, even a billionaire would say that. They'd love to double or triple their income without changing their lifestyle. And the reason why people say no to you is because you're approaching them or you're approaching you like? the wrong way. You're not tapping into their heart. You're not tapping into their lifestyle. You're not tapping into their values. So let's just go into the basics of prospecting, what you need to understand. I got into it a little bit with your belief. You have inner beliefs and you've got the outer beliefs in about yourself. Okay, so the inner beliefs, the inner beliefs have been programmed. So your whole self-concept, and I'm going to share something. I don't want to... I don't want to um, offend anybody here today, but I need you to write this down. The results that you have in prospecting and recruiting in your NH2 Global business or your network marketing business is a direct reflection on the beliefs about yourself. It's a direct reflection about the beliefs of yourself. 90% of the people that join your business, and not because of NHD and how great it is, and the great products, it's because of you. It's because of you. So beliefs are all programmed into you. So you have your inner beliefs. Okay, the inner beliefs are all about yourself, what you can do, what you've done in the past. And most of the time, all these beliefs have been programmed, like I said, before the age of seven. And then those are extended to you as you get into high school, and then you get into adulthood is what you can do if you're good enough. And most of us are programmed negatively. Those are toxic thoughts. And then there's the outer self. Okay, the outer self are beliefs about uh, religion, beliefs about uh, money, beliefs about sales. All of these beliefs are based on your environment, your environment. Same with your inner, but you you, the inner beliefs about yourself, yes, they were programmed by your parents, but you, you've extended them over a, a period of time in your life. Where the others are, you're bombarded constantly by your environment with your outer self. So let me ask you a question, and this is really important to ask yourself. If you're not happy with your results today, okay, this is really going deep inside. If you're not happy with your results, with your money and your business. You need to ask yourself this question. What are the beliefs that you have about your inner beliefs about yourself and your outer, uh, with your religion and all the other beliefs I've shared with you? If you need to, add, again, I'm going to repeat myself. You need to ask yourself this question. Are the beliefs that I believe in, are they serving me now? Because guaranteed your results are based on those foundation of those beliefs. So that's a question I constantly ask myself. That's how you grow, ladies and gentlemen. You know, unfortunately, no matter if you've been on this earth for 60 years, 70 years, 30 years, 20 years, you've got to always look at your beliefs because if they served you at 20, guaranteed they're probably not serving you at 35 or 40. In order for us to get better results, we need to go deep inside and start to look at what is preventing us from getting to where we're going. And that comes down to beliefs. Beliefs typically regarding yourself, regarding yourself. So if you want to change, I'm going to share with you some more philosophies here that you may, may struggle with based on your beliefs, based on your beliefs about God, based on your beliefs about money, based on your beliefs about religion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the first concept I just shared with you is 90% of the people will come in because of you. How does that work? Well, I just sent out a blog on the combat content, on the aspect of energy. Okay, and, and I give you kind of a little analogy. So we got two spinning discs in this world. The one spinning disc that's spinning at the top and one at the bottom. 
Okay, and everyone in this world are spinning on one of those two discs. So at the bottom is jealousy, fear, worry, anger, you know, negative thoughts and toxic thoughts. This is where the majority of the world is living on. They're down here spinning on that disc. And then at the top disc is love, gratefulness, abundance, prosperity. And there are people, small percentage of people on this disc. So if you're at that bottom disc, at the bottom disc, it's not possible to attract what's on that top disc. It is not possible. So for in order for you to attract, to get the results that you're looking for, you need to be on that top disc. You know, I was uh, watching some um, videos the other day that was shared to me, and the speaker, uh, Carolyn Neal, was sharing her uh, some research that was done. And she found that... Uh, 75% to 98%, she's a neurologist, of disease is based on toxic thoughts. They can now quantify it. They can quantify the toxic thoughts. Just think about it, 75 to 98% of toxic thoughts now become, are, are related to disease now. And only 25, up to 25% is related to environment. They can quantify it. So think about it. If you're at that one or two and you're constantly on that lower disc and you're trying to attract great people that are up at that prosperity, abundance, and everything else, you need to have, start building those beliefs and that about yourself. Start hanging out with right people to get up there so you can attract the right people in your business. And here's what happens with most people in life. That's why they're always on that bottom disc. Is their focus on what is, on what's going on in their life right now. The lack of money, the struggles of money, challenges with their spouse, uh, their kids, whatever is going on in their life. See, what happens is when we allow those things and what's going on in our life right now and focus on that, that's all you're going to consistently attract. Those toxic, those toxic thoughts start to expand in your, in your brain. And they're like trees, tree branches. And it starts to develop and grow and develop and eventually gets to where, where uh, Mrs. Neal was talking about these toxic thoughts. When they become a habit, now they can turn into disease. 75% to 98% turn into disease. Think about it. When you understand that, you need to understand how to get yourself at that top disc. How to get yourself so you can recruit at the top, you can be happy. You ever seen a depressed person? Again, I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, hurt anybody here today, hurt anyone's feelings, offend anybody here today. But you ever hear see a depressed person succeed long term and attract right people, or someone that complains all the time? You know, complaining is a toxic thought. So here's where, what I did, is you need to be consistent. You know, there, there are philosophies in this industry where you have to create this massive action. What I found when I got started in this business, on a scale of 1 to 10, I was probably minus 10. That's true fact. But my, my desire, my dream, I fell in love with my dream, was well over 100. Like, I was just burning desire, burning red-hot desire. I still have that desire. So I recognized I needed a lot to learn. I needed to develop. So I maintain a system of consistency. So every day, I read every single day at the same time. I, every day, I was putting on that, uh, back then, <laughs> audio tapes every single day. I was treating this business like a professional athlete, an elite professional athlete working out every single day. I was feeding my mind every single day because I knew I needed to stay up on this top disc, prosperity. Anytime negatives came in my life, or I had negative people around me, I got away from them. Anytime negative things came on the TV, I got away from them. Consistent. I was prospecting one. See, my first year in NHT, I was prospecting three times a day. Yes, it was difficult in the beginning, but it was so consistent three times a day. I got really good. And I uh, got to Gold Ambassador very quickly because of my consistency. Here's the thing with most people is you're jumping from the top disc to the bottom disc. 
and they have the yo-yo effect. Every day you spend 10 minutes a day over the next month on one specific action in the business. It becomes a habit. Those habits start to create results over time. Here's what most people do. They'll go in two or three or four days and they'll stop and they'll get started after a couple of days. Something's happened in their family and they'll start again. And they're that constant. They can never build momentum. Many of you have heard me share this this story this this uh, from NASA. You know, a few years ago, NASA did an experiment with, with a number of astronauts where they put these astronauts, they put concave glasses on these astronauts and they had to wear them 24 seven. The challenge was, and made them look upside down and made them look upside down. You know that all the astronauts by day 26 started to see right side up, started to see right side up. Just think about that. 26 days later, they did a second experiment where different astronauts where they had to change it by one day. So day 15 for 24 hours, they got to take off the glasses and start all over again 24 hours later. You know, it took that second experiment an additional 26 days, just missing one day to start seeing right side up. So just think about it. When you got started, when they got, let's say if you were in, in this experiment, when you got those glasses on, what are you thinking about? This is driving me crazy. Can't wait till I get these glasses off. Your whole focus, your whole dream, your whole goal is the future when these glasses are off. And what happened over time, 26 days, you started to develop the neural pathways, the neural pathways in your brain, and the brain got you what you want. That's quantum physics, ladies and gentlemen, and how the universe works. So consistency is key. If you look at Joe Garcia, no matter where I am in the world, I'm consistent every single day. How I treat my family, how I work on myself, how I prospect in my business. I could have stopped 78 years ago in prospecting. Why I'm still the number one recruiter in the world in NHT is because I know that I need to lead by example. I've got a major dream here with NHT, turning this business, NHT, into a billion dollar brand where we're able to pass our incomes to our kids and our grandkids. I know I got to lead by example. I can't teach you what I'm not doing today. I can't teach you what I did five years ago. I've got to teach you what I'm doing right now. Consistency of everything. It just when you think about it, think when when it comes to consistent. I just realized I spelled consistent wrong. <laughs> uh, when you think about consistent, consistency in the business. Think about the that. Um, study by NASA, 26 days. It takes 21 to 26 days for a good habit to create. So what happens is when you don't understand this, when you don't understand this, what happens? What happens is your beliefs and the program will tell and you'll go back to your default self. And this is what happens to most people because they're not consistent enough every single day with their mindset. Yes, it's difficult, but just look at the alternative. Dr. Neil shared 75 to 98% of people that get disease is because of their toxic habitual thoughts. That doesn't scare you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what it does. Get to that point where you get up on that higher disc every single day, consistency and awesome things will happen. Always be collecting in the business. Our goal as entrepreneurs is the size of our business is based on the size of our database. We've got to always increase our database and work it professionally. Today, because of the internet, this is why one of the major reasons why network marketing is exploding is it's now a world business. Just you think locally, but just think about the prospects globally and how you can get access to people now. Just think about today. You look in, uh, in the 60s when my parents immigrated from Portugal here into Canada. You know, for them to communicate with their parents, which lived on islands, they had to send a telegram. It was way too expensive to use a phone. It was ineffective. So they were communicating with their parents three times a year. Now, because of the technology, they can communicate with their, their grandkids, no matter where they are, real time, on video on video on video 
social media. Now we're connecting with our friends and family like ever. You know, I've got a huge family. I've got six, seven, eight, you know, uh, uh, times, you know, in terms of cousins, you know, uh, my eighth cousin, my ninth cousin, et cetera, et cetera, generation. And I'm connecting with them. Probably met them maybe once in my lifetime, this maybe never. Then yeah, they're reaching out to me. Just think, we're now communicating. Our prospects yeah. are communicating with their families, and we have better relationships now because of technology. What does that do for me and for us? Is the world is our playing surface? The world is our game. The world is our our life in our business and great thing about nht you don't have to launch into new markets anymore you don't have to do what dan and i did many of our other leaders you know like garth right in europe going from country country being the first in those markets and and uh, have to worry about shipping and all the challenges you know in the early days with these countries you don't have to do it going in you wouldn't believe the stories the stories i can share with you you know, where I went into a city and there was a challenge with my booking and then that whole, that little town only had one or two hotels and I, you know, basically I had to stay on a park bench, you know, in the early days. You don't know those stories of us going, you know, uh, nine, si nine countries in 10 days, you know, trying to get something rolling in a market. You don't have to do that. The people today, if you look at our top money earners in NHT Global, in the last, uh, about 60% of them started in the last five years. So that tells you that the number one earning distributor or the million dollar or best income distributors here in the next five years have not been sponsored. Have not been sponsored. I call that an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the starting point of everything. To get yourself up in that higher disc to attract the right people in your business. You've got to fall in love with your dream. That dream has to be specific. This is why we have a getting started, started process in NHD on your first 90 days. You got, you know, yes, it's monotonous, but if you're not take, getting people started the right way and helping them understand how to get to their dream and access to the dream and building that dream and, and falling in love with that dream, they'll have a difficult time getting results in the business and you will have a difficult time if you don't fall in love with your dream you don't know why and it's not specific you will not be able to stay up on that higher disc you will not be able to stay on that higher disc you will be with the masses on that lower disc and what happens you'll attract all those people that are going nowhere you got to be up on that higher disc you need to know what your why is take your life off of what is right now in your life what's going on in your life and move it towards your why. What is it you want? So every day since 1993, how I've been able to achieve my dreams in NHT is I spent 20, 30 minutes a day, even if it was 10 minutes a day, every single day focused on my dream. I visualized it. I ate it. It became a part of me. It became a part of me. That's why I did it every single day. I was consistent. I was consistent. Again, every webinar that I've done, this is the basis of everything. And I guarantee you right now, there's hundreds of people on this webinar. It's a sold out webinar. Uh, looks like we've just got under a thousand here that have tapped in. Uh, sold out webinar. And the people that will be watching in the future, guaranteed 97, 98% of you don't know what your dream is. You don't know what your dream is. You don't know what is specific. The, you will, you're living your life on default and you'll never attract the right people in your business. Never. So what you need when you get started in the business, the first thing you need is a business card. <laughs> Basics, it's simple. But if you don't have a business card, you're not in business, guys. Don't have a business card, you're not in business. So this is my new business card. Why Joe Garcia Inc.? is my company okay you notice there's a few things in there i've got all the markets that we do business in i've got my website okay my contact information and i also am branding me i'm not branding nht global people don't care what nht global is okay people care what you are what do you stand for so 
I'm my president founder. So this is all about, so when I'm meeting with someone and we're changing cards, it doesn't say NHC Global Distributor. I'm branding me as a CEO of my own company, president of my company, founder of my company. I have a global company and I've got initials by my name. Many years ago, I realized when you have initials, so what I want to do when I've exchanged cards, a lot of people ask me what IRT is. And I, uh, and I tell them I'm an international recruiter and trainer. It just allows me to open up and talk, a little, talk about my business, engage in my business. You can have, you know, MIT millionaire in training or master in training. You can, you can fool around with that. There's a good little good technique that I learned years ago that has allowed me to, to use in a three-foot rule. Anyone within three feet, I'm exchanging business cards. I'm always collecting cards. I'm going to share with you what you do in the future with those uh, very effectively. Oh, by the way, there is another card that you can have. If you want to develop an NHT Glob card with the logo, the present NHT Global, I would only use them for your customers or even your distributors. But if you're in prospect, you've got to build you. If you want to be a professional, you've got to build you. You've got to be arrogant in that area. So that falls in line with your business card is you need to have a Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram account, branding you. I always tell people I probably wouldn't have a Facebook account if I wasn't in business or Instagram account, right? I use Facebook and these things for building my brand. I'll spend 80%, 90% and positive things about me, my philosophy and everything else and about 10 to 15% on my family, okay? I do it by design, because when people Google me, when they uh, uh, look at my profile, I want to present the best person possible. So you got to be very consistent with your profile. If you look at my profile, you'll never see NHT on my profiles, because I'm a professional recruiter. I don't want people going to my page and then uh, going to the NHT website and you know, okay, you got to remember the first look of anyone in the business. First impression is important, and I want to with the top prospects. I want to be control what those people see. And eventually, you need to have your own branding site, okay? Um, branding your own site, like whyjoegarcia.com. You know, uh, Dalibor Strop has uh, is one. He's catching up to me as the one number one recruiter in NHT. <laughs> um, he's making me work every day here. So timeisnow.eu. He's got a great branding site. You know, he followed my advice on how to brand yourself. So it's important that you create that because when people today they find out about you and you're talking to them about the product and business, what are they going to do? They're going to Google you. And this is what I do. And if I don't see their name in the first three pages, then I know that they're not probably who they say they are, you know? It's, it's very simple, but people don't do it. Again, this is consistent action every single day. Mm. You don't do it, it's hurting you. Yeah. Okay, you're not high tech, get someone else to do it. Very simple. Uh, nowadays, you know, YouTube tutorials, just go on YouTube and you can learn, you know? You know, for example, uh, one of the things that I've done in the last 10 years is really focused on doing things that I have a lot of joy in because it helped me stay up on this high disc, right? So sports, being active in sports, you know, and, uh, uh, and doing that has really been, you know, uh, what I did as a child. It helps me in that area, stay in shape, et cetera, et cetera. So recently I joined a slow pitch. You know, never played baseball in my life. So what I did is I went on YouTube tutorials uh, and I started to learn how to swing the bat, what to do and everything else. Within an hour, went on the baseball diamond and I had two hits in my first three at bats. You know, so you, you can do anything today just willing to learn. So now let's get into the action, guys. Oh my God, it's, we're at the hour now. So I'm going to spend about 20, 25 more minutes in the great part of this webinar, which is a, uh, prospecting, uh, how to reach out to new people and understanding, uh, you know, yep. 
the specifics me. about people. Okay, so now yeah. you need to look at personality yeah. types. You have basically four personality you types. I actually got to do a webinar on this. Is in my first five minutes, I want to determine what people, what their values are. If I'm sitting in front of people, what, and the question I ask them, what would they like more of in their life? And the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what their personality type. So you got four basic personalities. The first personality is the red personality. All you have to do is put up a picture of Donald Trump, and that's a red personality. Red personality is always about winning. Always about winning. They they always seem to have confrontation in their life. They thrive in their confrontation. In confrontation, you push them in a the corner. They will fight tooth and nail to get out of that corner. Again, it's always about winning. That's always about them. They cannot see past themselves. So they have narcissistic tendencies. They love to be up on stage, being the life of the party. They love, um, you know, uh, being that, that trainer that everybody looks at on stage. They love to promote. You know, Reds become great leaders just because they always want to win. They can drive you crazy, <laughs> right? But they want to get to global ambassador, you know, they, uh, because it's about them. They want to get there. So if you're talking to a red, you'll know right away who a red is. They're loud. They'll try to take control of your conversation. They'll squeeze your hand and look you right in the eye because it's all about power. It's all about power. So with personalities, 20% of the population is one specific personality. So if I have a red in front of me, you know, first thing I'm going to shake, I'm going to do what they're doing. I'm modeling and I'm shaking their hand very hard too. I'm looking them right in the eye because if I move, if, if I don't look them with eye contact, they won't respect you. If they feel that you're weak and timid, they, they will not do business with you. Guaranteed. Okay, so if I'm speaking to a red, I'm going to give them a vision that they would look great up on stage. You know, people are going to love them and how many people they're going to, they can travel the world and, and uh, make an impact on people. It's always about them. Then you have the blue personalities. They're the coaches and, I'm sorry, the, the blue personalities are the people that are detailed oriented. They tend to be more, more intelligent than most people. Because they're intelligent, they're very detailed. They have a hard time finishing tasks. They, they're very visual. You know, I had a blue uh, guy to do the other day. He sent me an email on his plan to get to Global Ambassador in six months. Meanwhile, he hasn't even talked to one person yet about the business. Okay? This is what people blue do. If, you wanna, if you're prospecting the blue, what you want to do is you can provide them everything about NHC that, you, that, that we have, right? Everything. Because they will go through that because they'll always want more information. One of the questions you need to ask blues is, do you have enough information to get started? What is it that, and they say, no, what is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to see? Because their intelligence will always say, well, there has to be something more to this, right? Then you have the green personality. These are the coaches and trainers. They're the mediators of life. They love people. People gravitate to them because they're always solution oriented. You know, you won't find them as uh, angry and, and, and when there's a confrontation, there's always a solution. People go to greens. They make incredible leaders in network marketing. They're the teachers, the coaches. And with, when I'm sitting down with a green and I recognize that they're a green just by asking a few questions they, and, and learning a little bit about their background, I'm going to focus on helping them understand that they can change the lives of people. You know, a lot of greens are tree huggers. You know, they love the environment and that kind of thing. So greens are great for this business. Oh, everyone's great for the business, but learning these personality traits will help you speak to them in their language. And then you have the yellows. The yellows are usually the supporters. They tend to join a network marketing because they understand that they need to meet more and more people, get outside their comfort zone. They're the people that you can, you, you can count on. They're the ones that are you know, helping out with meetings and bringing the products and they're the supporters of the organization. Okay, so if you tell a yellow, I can see you up on stage traveling the world and changing lives and being that person, they will run the other way. They will run the other way. The great part of this business is yellows and greens and reds and, and um, 
uh, uh, blues can become and grow and develop. 80% of the population has still a dominant personality, but they have a mix of the others or maybe one other. So I'm always finding out what their personality type. The last thing I do is modeling. I'm constantly modeling people, their tonality, their facial expressions, uh, you know, their body language. It's another way that you can communicate because in the subconscious mind, you want people to say, I like Joe. So I'm on the phone with someone, I'm gonna hear what they are all about, you know, and there's three types of people with the audio, you know, and again, I'm gonna do another training on this is, the first one is auditory, uh, about 40% of, 30% uh, of the population is auditory, that visual, another 30% of the population is visual. The majority of people are kinesthetic, which is touchy, feely. So if you're sitting down with someone and they grab the product, you know, you'll know that they're more touchy feely. So when it comes to prospecting men and women, typically with women, I'm gonna really, my goal is to get our face left on their face or their grandmother's face or someone older or a group of them. Is when women fall in love with the product, watch out. You know, when I travel the world and I'll ask this question, how many women got started because they were demoed the facelift? And 90% of the women always put up their hand. So that, that's a clue, ladies and gentlemen. With men, it's always about the bigger picture. It goes back to the caveman principle, where we're the, we're the hunters, we're the ones that needed to take advantage of, to take care of our family. Our self-esteem is based on how well we can take care of our family. So men, it's typically always about the money. So always keep that in mind. If you go to a male, or you do a presentation and male, Males think that they have to do home parties or home demos to build this business. Most of them will never get started. Just think about that. So we talked about bypassing sales filters and the value and benefit system statements. I would recommend that you go to steamteam.ca under the first 90 day tab and learn more about the contact and inviting. So let's look at techniques. And I'm ending the presentation with this, ladies and gentlemen. So look, look at the tools that we have with NHT. We got, I shared with you the facelift demos. Always keep in mind, with women, you got to get that product on their face. So you're going to have more of an opportunity to prospect and have successful prospecting by doing those facelift de demos. It is a game changer in this industry, no doubt about it. Game Changer in NHT. The DVD presentations, you can, you can take our Saturday presentations, tape them, you know, our, our six minute uh, company presentation, you can go tape it, drop it off to someone, a neighbor and say, would you take a look at this and tell me what you think? Okay? And I'm gonna come back and, and pick it up. So that's a very effective tool. Our webinar presentations, you know, something like this, Something like uh, what we're doing here today, our 11 o'clock Eastern call every Saturdays, our Wednesday nights, question and answers. You know, just make sure that you tap in and your people tap in and your prospects tap into that. The average prospect will say yes after looking at the business four, five, six times. The follow-up is critical. You know, in NHT, I know some of our teams have their own websites, but we have YNHT.com where you can go uh, and follow the three-step system where they listen to a, an audio on that page. One minute by Dan Cattle, great, superb. And then they'll go right into the step two, which is the, which is the um, videos there, right? And then when you, when you hook someone up to that website, you always book a time to get back to them within 24 hours. The sense of urgency needs to be created. You know, we got brochures on the website. We got three-way calls. It's amazing to me. And most people still today don't do three-way calls. I'm going to go back to Delaware Strop. One of the things he does very well, as soon as he has a, a person, a prospect that's real excited, that's, that shows great positive tendencies about NHT, mm -hmm. he's going to get me on with them before they even look at something. That's a really good strategy, ladies and gentlemen. And obviously the trainings is another tool, especially for blue people, uh, you know, if you go to steamteam.ca with a lot of blue personalities, I will get them to watch certain webinars because in their mind, they need to see how the business works. 
they need to get their intelligence uh, working. So let me start with taproot. And if you just follow this technique, this is how I've earned millions in NHT and how I prospected. And it's my number one prospecting technique. Okay, you got to understand that everybody is on a scale of one to 10. I, I rate people by ones and tens, one to 10. One, twos, and threes are people that are new, are, are average people. You know, they have an average job, maybe work in an office or they work in a, a factory, you know, regular people. Then you get four, fives, and sixes are people that are um, higher up in uh, management and, and white collar jobs. And then seven, eight, nines, and tens are successful entrepreneurs, presidents, and CEOs of companies. Okay, I realized a long time ago that if I was going to grow my business faster, that I needed to be in a position when I'm where I'm prospecting more seven, eight, nines, and tens. And that's the first thought process I was having. Second thought process, I always knew I needed to develop my database. And this is pre-internet, where it was much harder. And I needed to reach out to people that I didn't know. And I realized if I was always working within someone's warm market, I'd always have a higher recruiting ratio. So to add to my list, I was always working through others to tap me into the ones at seven, eight, nines, and tens. Keep in mind, I'm a great example, and many of us are great examples where ones and twos and threes can become a nines and tens in NHD because of our training uh, and, our, and our culture that we've developed. But what happens with those one, twos, and threes, and this is reality, ladies and gentlemen, it may take two, three, four, five years for them to become nines and tens, dep depending how fast they can get and love their why. Okay? And reality is, as most of you know, many of those people may not last a month or two or three months because of their programming, because they don't believe in themselves, because of their toxic thinking, and they owe their default to their, their bad habits or habits that don't serve them. So if I get a one, two, and three, this is where the masses are, one, twos, and threes. One of the first things that I'm going to do that same day is I'm going to find out who they know is a seven, eight, nines, and tens. Critical to the success of our business. Critical to adding to your list. And what the other thing that you're doing is you're showing them in the beginning how to do the business, how simple the business is. And I'm basically, and let's face it, most of us don't start until they feel they got everything ready. You know, their website's ready. Their, they get their products and everything else. I want to create a sense of urgency. Again, timid salespeople have skinny kids. I want to create it's my business. I wanted to create a sense of urgency. I can remember in NHT, my first 30 days, I was like an animal prospecting. And most of the people that I prospected were through other people that I helped sign up in the business. It was, and I continued that over and over and over again. So as soon as I got someone started in the business, that first day, I'm going to ask them, who do you know is successful? Who do you know is entrepreneurial? Who do you know is in self-help? Who do you know would like to stay healthier? You know, that's really passionate about that. Who do you know that's passionate about looking younger? And that is the moment where I tap into their eight, nines, and tens and help them sponsor those people into the business. Because what happens is that eight, nines, and tens in your business, they already have the belief about themselves. They're programming it is all about, yeah, I can win. I can make this happen. I can make a lot of money. I believe in myself. And they know other eight, nines, and tens that are spinning at that top level, not the bottom level. And when you, and you consistently do that through your organization and help people, help people. I hear it all the time with people is that they wait till everything's perfect. But if you're able, yeah, is it work, going to work with everybody? No. But if you're able to... To do this, you'll never run out of names in your organization. I went full-time in network marketing. It's the very first person that I signed up. I was in a uh, restaurant. One of the first people I signed up was a guy that was the manager of a restaurant that I visited. 
and uh, he was wishy-washy. I would follow up with him, couldn't reach him. He was not returning my calls. That's a clue, ladies and gentlemen, right? So I was able to catch him at work, and I asked him that question, who do you know is successful, entrepreneurial, self-help, into self-help and everything else? So, well, I've got uh, an employee here that works at night. His wife is, is expecting, just had twins, and he works with his dad during the day. Uh, they own their own business, et cetera, et cetera. But he'll never be interested because he's too busy. I got a, I was able to get that connection with him, started him and started him, went over to his, him and his wife's business, uh, home, was able to get them started in the business. His dad was a nine and 10 and they, that business allowed me to go full time in network marketing. It was incredible. And I learned right away that technique. And ever since that day, I've never run out of names because I'm constantly working with top people in their warm market. Okay, so like any business, our target market are with people. Again, we don't want to judge anybody because there's many global ambassadors that have come into this business that were ones and twos and are, are now global ambassadors because of their why, because they were hungry. They fell in love with their why. You know, if you have a one or two that fall in love with their why, you, <laughs> you have an unstoppable person, unstoppable person. There is a technique I use on social media, particularly LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a gold mine for distributors, a gold mine for us, because all it is is business people. Problem is, most people use LinkedIn incorrectly. So basically, I have a script that I've used over uh, that I constantly am tweaking, which bypasses the sales filter, which I'm going to have up on Steam Team that you can use. So the basic premise is you connect with people. You praise them, tell them that you're really impressed with their profile, and just build a little bit of a relationship. And then you start using the script and bypassing that sales filter. And for example, the other day, uh, I met a gentleman in Poland online. He, he, connect, he connected with me, and I, I told him I was really impressed with his profile. You know, I asked him a little bit about himself. He went, we went back and forth. And I told him, I, I said this. I am looking, I'm, I'm developing a business in Poland with a global e-commerce publicly traded company. And people like you, we've, we've taught them how to double and triple their income, business people like you, without changing their lifestyle. And we're looking for people that are in that category. If, if you're interested, if you know anybody, just let me know. And get this, ladies and gentlemen, what did he ask me? I said, Joe, can you tell me more? So what I did is I asked for his contact information. So the goal of social media, the goal of meeting people face-to-face -face, or you just met someone is not to sell them on the business or the product. It's to get their contact information and do it professionally and do it professionally with all the techniques I just shared with you. And if you're constantly in that eight, nines, and tens and you're prospecting that area and helping people do that, because if you sponsor one, two, and three, They'll never talk to eight, nine, and 10. Or if they haven't done the training yet, this particular type of training, content inviting, if they do, they will get rejection. And what happens with rejection, that distributor is gone. That distributor is gone in most cases if there are one, twos, and threes. So a lot of people ask me about network marketers. So what I do with that, it's a growing industry. What you want to do is, Constantly build relationships with other people in network marketing. What will happen eventually, those people will be unhappy. So when you're, so what you want to do is you want to create a database of A players and B players. A players, anyone that's made over $10,000 a month that you think, and B players. And you put them in a database where you're sending value to them. You're not pitching them on the business because, you know, and you're, oh, hey, John, I thought you'd like to see this. You know, like that Robert Kiyosaki video that you can use for your business and prospects. You're constantly, you're liking them on Facebook and mentioning how great they are and all that kind of stuff. You're building relationships. Guarantee what happens when you do that correctly and you're building relationships six months down the road, 10 months down the road, 15 months down the road, two years down the road, you, they will be talking, yeah. communicating with you. Some of my, our greatest leaders in, in North America, for example, or globally, you know, and Andreas Papakostas is a great example of that. 
we had a relationship seven, eight years. You know, from the time I started talking to him, he came into our business eight years later. Think about that. Think about that. So this is just, again, professionals do this. Amateurs, it's all about now. And again, if you get the right person, eight, nine, and 10, especially in a company like NHT that's growing fast and the upline leaders. And the thing is, is you're not comfortable yet. This is the thing that Dalibor has done well. I'm going to go back to him. Get them on. Get these people on immediately with the people in your upline that have the skill sets to build the relationships and help you. That's what I did in the beginning all the time. It's a great tool and how you can learn. So, for example, uh, now I'm going to choose like Sonia, for example. If I had Sonia in my upline, I'd get people on all day long with her. Sonia, can can you share your relation, uh, your what what's happened to you in the business? You know, uh, you know, I've got uh, a guy like Maddie T that's on that's from the Creating Greatness team. If I was Maddie T's organization, he was my upline. I was, you know, 30 years plus experience in the industry. Every day, I'd have four or five people on the line with him, you know, for a couple of minutes, even before they look at anything. You know, if I get someone, that's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen. All it takes. So in conclusion, you know, uh, my next webinar I'm going to do, I'm going to go actually, it's going to, this is a two-part webinar. I'm going to do specifics on recruiting techniques, recruiting techniques on moving forward uh, and filling out your pipeline. I've just covered a few of them. One of the other ones that I will go into detail is business cards. We all have major business cards in our, uh, if you've been in business for a while, you know, I've got thousands of business cards. And what I've done over the years is I'll take those business cards and I'll be right in the back. And now I'm actually writing a little letter and I'll say, hey, hey, Delabor, this is Joe. Uh, I'd love to talk to you about uh, e-commerce business that's just launching here locally. It's publicly traded. Business people like you are doubling and tripling their income. Doubling and tripling their income in the next in, in their first couple of years without changing their lifestyle. If you're interested, give me a call. And I'll mail that card back to them. You know, I'll take a card from a salon owner. We just we're introducing a new hey John, I we're introducing a new 30 minute non surgical facelift that has uh, from an e publicly traded e commerce company that we're just launching here locally that are doubling and tripling the income of salons and their salon owners. If you're interested, call me and I'll come in for a free demo. And I'll mail that card back to them with that little note. When they open it up, you get that, you do that on a weekly basis out of 10 cards and that's all it's costing you is a stamp. When people are calling you, you've got the power. Again, that's just consistency. If you just use that as a recruiting tool, you know, you're going to get some names. But again, it's just another tool, another consistent action that you can do that will fill your pipeline. Fill your pipeline. So I hope everyone understands here today, know this truth that your results will be based on the ability to increase your skill sets and your persistence and believing in your dream. So here's the thing. Well, the one thing that I got, the one thing that I got in the beginning is when I went to a web, uh, when I went to a training, I'm sitting in the front of the room and nowadays most of the trainings we have globally and I'm taking notes. I put the things that I learned that resonated with me in action right away. I didn't wait. Here's what most people do guys is they'll be watching this webinar. They'll put it aside. They'll go do what their daily work. They're, they're not studying yet. And they won't implement anything that they've learned here today. That's a definition of insanity. Definition of insanity. You know, uh, I, I wanted to become a professional athlete. I was able to get a soccer scholarship. And I actually wanted to be a professional hockey player. And I remember my training days and my coaches that impacted me the most. And... One of them was a Mr. Kirkpatrick. I was 15 years old. He was a leading goal scorer in, in my province, Ontario, um, you know, in, in soccer. And he told me one thing that impacted me. He says, Joel, you are very talented. Your talent 
is not going to get you there. It's how bad you want it and how much you work on it every day. Not every other day, not once a week, not once a month. Every day. This is what will make your dream come true. This is what you will get you a scholarship. And that's how I have applied my business. So I hope you understand this, that this is not a get rich quick. This is work, ladies and gentlemen. You know, and ask yourself this question. If it took five years, seven years, 10 years of consistent work to make 10,000 a month residual cash flow for the rest of your life, would it be worth it? Think about that. Are you willing to do in the next five, seven, ten years? Based on what I, what Robert Kiyosaki just shared with you, based on what uh, I shared with you regarding the professor in Germany. And you can go and read that blog that I posted on whyjoegarcia.com, where tw where where uh, majority of jobs, over ninety percent of jobs, will be replaced by technology in the next 10, 15 years. I call that, ladies and gentlemen, a opportunity next 10 15 years is a huge opportunity for you to take advantage of what we have here today i don't want to hype you up it's just reality just reality ladies and gentlemen success is what happens when 10,000 hours of preparation meet with one moment of opportunity so think about it there is a great book by Malcolm Godwell, and in that book, he studied professional athletes and successful business people. And he had shared in that book that a minimum of every single person he studied spent minimum 10,000 hours of work to take advantage of what they had in their opportunity. So if you're willing to do that in NHT, and, go, and please go back to this webinar and study all the other information that we have on Steam Team, and build your skill sets. You're gonna have an incredible life. I'm a great example of that. So enjoy everybody, your day on Saturday here, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, put these things into action and great blessings will come your way. And I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to help you get to reach your goals and your dreams. Thanks for watching us today, watching me. I'm gonna, again, this is, um, been recorded and it's going to be up on Steam Team probably by Monday. Have a great day, everyone. God bless.